Hey everyone, I finally made it to a year with all your guys' help from watching, commenting. Couldn't done it without you. So uh, I've made a compilation of my last year. I hope you enjoy. Okay, we've all seen one of these maybe. Maybe not all of us, but it's an auger. I needed it to get down to those uh, those cobble layers. Works good. You can take this off because you can't use that when the ground gets too hard. See how far that layer is down there. Okay. Anyway, repurpose garden tool. The uh, motorcycle fender uh, hand shovel. Works super this way. Hey, and you had another use for this, uh, oh, that's slick. Then we can just take this off. You know. Okay, I gotta show you this guys. Okay, this was a motorcycle fender in the scrap pile. So I just cut her how I wanted it. Now this is one of the poles. Got the little push in. Uh, one of the uh, feet for those poles. So I just bolted it on there. And you got a kind of a, like a hot leaf spoon in a sense. Anyway, let me show you how that works. Sweet as can be. I need a hole here for... Yeah, that's an awesome little scoop. These are my core samplers. Now, I used made this first because uh, when I was down on the hole, I wanted to go back into that layer, you know, and, it, and just wiggle that. And that carved right back in there, and it was just full core sample. And then I had this laying around, so uh, I made a bigger one, and I've used it like like a couple bucks worth. Oh, that's 
tank is running fairly good. So let's go get some material. Then we move over here to the uh, vacuum bucket. Remember, all these have uh, videos to them. Classifier out of a bucket works great. Put different screens in. And of course, most important, the bucket hauler. Okay, this uh, on my way back from a marketplace purchase, right in my neighborhood around the corner, uh, this was for free, so I grabbed it. So now we're going to turn it into a bucket hole. Oh, Yeah, the bucket hauler, that's been uh, so helpful to me. There's no way I could pack any of that sand. I, w I just wouldn't even do it. My mining would be over. So that's came in really handy. Anyways, just a couple items I made there. And then, uh, of course, if we go... Yeah, boy, oh boy, that's a long one. Okay, that box is eight feet. So we have to take the wheel off and the uh, header plate. Yeah, we just whipped this together yesterday. Let me show it to you. Yeah, this is kind of spring-loaded here, so fits really snug. Secure it with a couple screws, no big deal. Made there. And then, uh, of course, if we go over here. Okay, then we've made, uh, whoa. Okay, then we made uh, the rocker table. That is a bot sloosh. That is an 8 foot by 10 inch wide sluice there. And then our cleanup sluice is also, uh, well, it's 100 inches of matting in there. I'm sure you've seen that on the video. And, uh, and a load. What do you call that? Uh, indicator mat. Okay, and then a couple foot long indicator mat loading the uh, dock there. And then our panning, panning station barrel, our uh, reservoir barrel, 
and our separator, our vibrating uh, motor. So, uh, yeah, all I did with the barrels is cut the tops and uh, the motor there, I just bolted our uh, zip tied a little counterweight on there. It works pretty good. Now, that is a 12 volt. The uh, bilge pump in the uh, tank there is a 12 volt. The reason was 12 volt is because uh, the windshield wiper motor there, 12 volt. So we went ahead and threw a 12 volt system in. And it uh, seems to do okay. Now the only thing that's not is this, uh, I got a bigger pump for this sluice that's 110 and the other 110 goes to the train controller which reverts back to 12 volts on a bilge pump. but variable speed. Okay, so that's about all the, uh, the things for uh, gold prospecting we got going on. Okay, here's one of my first videos. It's got some front tires on it. But it so happened that the steering in the wreck it was in uh, bent one of the uh, steering springs, shocks, and it doesn't turn very well at all. So until that issue is fixed, it's going to sit there for a moment. But I want to show you, that's a video I also have. If you want to come back and watch, I built a seat for it and then the tire, uh, front tires. So Ooh, we might be out of gas. I think we are. <clears throat> okay, we also have a video on this uh, Harley build. I, uh, I put together that uh, special design uh, flamey uh, Springer front end there, but I didn't traditionally make it. It's at an angle, if you notice, which traditionally these bars are parallel with these all the way up and I just like to be different and I always use the material I have I had this one inch thick piece of stuff and I thought well and it was only so big so that's how that came to be handlebars are two sets I had and I kind of uh, they need to be taken back off and painted though but a whole lot of it needs to be remodified. And then I'm going to put some fenders on it. Otherwise, this, uh, this rear drive unit, that is a video. That was pretty intense to build that. And it's a bolt-on. You can bolt the back wheel right back on it. And then your battery, instead of being right there, it'll have to be a small one. And I've got that kit, and it bolts on right there. And then in another video wall right here, I couldn't, I didn't have anything to haul it. It's so heavy and you can't get it up ramps and so I uh, waited and kept looking and kept looking and got this car haul trailer, car dolly they call it, and I had to remodify it I, uh, and that's a video so may as well drop back and watch that one and I won't waste any more of your time here. And then we have the tow behind which will fit any uh, trailer ball, two inch, so not any. Anyway, that's a fun booger to ride. So we'll get that combo out and uh, we'll see you on that video. And then the bucket hauler. The other bucket hauler. Now this one, you can go real easy down, say, uh, elk trail in the woods. Uh, backwards, if you got to go over logs, works slick as really good. And you can haul uh, 
Well, I've hauled about 60 pounds on it, and you, you can do it. You gotta take a break once in a while. Anyway, that is a uh, very handy tool. Video on how to build that, or how I built it. Alright, next. Whoa, we just about got it. Okay, I hope that thing turned on. That was awesome. Just washed all my gold out. Here it is, 99%. Of course, the throttle had to be custom. Not one, but two water balloons. Yet to decide on the mufflers. Uh, We'll start with that. So I don't know how fast it'll be, but I don't want to go that fast. As long as it's going forward. Right here. Well, hey ladies, what are you doing down here? Uh, co pilot to pilot. Are you ready? Nope. You're not? <laughs>
She fits. Hey there, little guy. Where are you going? Okay, so that took me all day to do nothing. Boy, that thing's bigger than my head. Okay, this is the uh, first uh, test of this fan. I speeded it up with the very so I'm not sure what it's going to do. Okay, I'm Close enough. All right, now I got three more to go. Okay, this is our uh, flood that we get about once every four or five years. I've been here about 13 years, and uh, this is about the fourth time it's flooded this. This is pretty big. It's way up there in the yard. Oh, be darned. We got that thing in there. Any idea what that might be? Uh, leave me a comment. And, uh... I just grabbed my own scrap pile, and we're going to put them on this, uh... We need some footholds right there, because earlier I took a spill and busted my knee pretty good. Only because, you know, I jumped the gun and rode it before I should have.
see how those are running in a row right there? That is just one cool. Anyway, I got this on Marketplace. Um, it was very much a project. No engine, no interior. Um, just gutted. Anyway, got it home and I decided to cut eight inches out of it and weld it back together, which turned out pretty good. And I've made it a center driver, put an 11 piece fiberglass tilt front end on it. There's some of how it's made. Uh, propane gas tank. The original one wasn't good anymore. Uh, made the steering wheel, put a 2180 stroker in, made the pedals. Uh, then started on the frame. And of course it was narrower than stock, so I had to build new, new everything there. And yeah, it was uh, okay. There's some the sheet metal going on. Anyway, the uh, funny face on it too. Painted it this color first, and I'm like, well, maybe, uh, maybe it needs some uh, stripes or some. You know, something else on it. I called it bug out and made the bumper. I uh, made the tube exhaust. They're super loud. Um, anyway, so I started, decided flames on it. And my favorite color is green. And hers is purple, so we got both colors there. Anyway, uh, I got to drive it a little bit around the place, not on the highway. Um, Center driver, that was so cool. Um, anyway, I had to get rid of it. There's the day I got rid of it. Okay, I got the paint and stuff on there. Testing, testing. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you're... Yeah, I was wondering if I can even get on this myself. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. We will pedal or? Well, we, we're going to pedal until we fall off. Oh. Know what I mean? Oh, we... I hey, let's see how quickly we can turn this around. Oh, yeah, it's not tight. Oh, that's kind of heavy. Whoa. Okay, what do I do? Uh, move your butt of your bike over that way. Just pick it up and go that way. your butt. Can you put me up a little? I might just pick you up a little bit more. Sure. Bring your pedal down. Better? Oh, really? Get back on now.
Yeah, this is a right on tow behind. Tow behind anything, I guess. So, anybody wonder how gold smells? Just like that. Smells pretty good. All right, I hope you guys like that, and I earned your prescription. <laughs> okay, cut. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, I earned your subscription today. So uh, if you uh, subscribe, like, share, uh, you'll be able to see me on another one. So, uh, okay, that's all bad. Cut. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I, uh, I sure enjoyed this last year. If it wasn't for all you, I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't be here. So thanks for watching and uh, sharing and uh, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any more. So uh, all I can say is thank you and thank you and thank you. Uh, hopefully this next year will be better. We're not quite uh, there on the subscriptions yet. Still lacking about 300, so uh, anybody that wants to push that button, it's free. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Well, I have a ton more videos coming up, and I hope you don't miss them. So until then, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.